Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you your weekly love reads from August 21st through August 27th. This is going to be what's coming towards you in love. This video is for Earth signs. So um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns, if you guys want to go straight to the read, there are timestamps in the description box. So go ahead and do that. We're going to be pulling some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. We're going to be using the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck and then finishing off the read for Heart Songs, Songs in the Keys of Love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie with a song lyric. Um, these are quick and dirty. Um, they are general, so please keep that in mind. If you feel like this is really hitting, hit, missing the mark, not hitting the mark, missing the mark, um, go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're not familiar where your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box to get um, that information if you're interested. There's also a link in the description box to get to my personal page if you're interested. I think that's it. Please don't mind the exterior. Um, I can see like my eyes look so puffy, but doing the best I can. All right, so let's get started, guys. What's coming toward? Oh, thank you for watching. Thanks for coming to my page. Tauruses, Tauruses, Tauruses. What's coming towards Tauruses in love? Oh, Tauruses, the Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Sorry, I have this really weird. <clears throat> dry cough since I came downstairs. I don't know what's going on with me. All right, Tauruses. I feel like there's um, an exceptional amount of thinking going on here. Sorry, I feel like I'm... Um, I feel like you're really up in your head. The bottom of the deck is the, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is like really intelligent very much an analyzer, thinks things through to entirety, like maybe overanalyzes. Um, but you're definitely sitting in this energy of being anxious, um, thinking a lot, thinking, being so caught up in your mind that you can't sleep, that you cry yourself to sleep, that you're really struggling um, with some intense emotions. So I feel like there's a lot of anxiety here. I do, I do think it could be because you feel as if you've missed an opportunity, Tauruses. But I feel like this opportunity is coming back around because we have the world card. So it's, the world card's like a completion of a cycle, right? So if you're in this energy of like, oh, I missed this awesome opportunity that was right here and I'm just focused on everything that's gone and not what was right here, um, I feel like this situation of feeling as if you've missed an opportunity is coming to an end and karma starting to roll out and things are starting to go in your favor. So I feel like um, you have a very stable person coming towards you, very stable, very grounded, very committed. It could be someone that's very similar to you. I feel like it could be another earth sign because we have um, some pentacles here. We also have swords and cups and the world card. So it, um, but I feel like this person is going to be loyal, grounded, committed. This person's going to be stable. This person's going to be a caretaker and a provider. This person's going to like to tend to you. Um, they like to kind of be this nurturer and, and take care of others. I think they'll be financially stable as well as emotionally stable. Um, but this is going to be a slow paced energy. This is going to be like slow and steady wins the race. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. So I feel like it will be like a, a progression. I don't think this is going to be something that's going to be like out of nowhere and like go straight to like a marriage. I think this person's very grounded and committed. I think you're in the headspace of where you need to continue your healing. Um, and I think karma will help sh kind of shift things with this world card. Um, things are moving into place. Things are falling into place for you to have your happiness. I definitely see that coming with the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. And the world card's kind of shifting it all and making it happen. And, and underneath the Knight, I'm sorry, the King of Swords, we also have the Death card, which is Death and Rebirth. So I feel like there's definitely a transition happening here. What you were worried about, stressed about is ending. Um, and things are rolling forward, like really stable, like really grounded, committed, loyal, like long term. Looks great. We have frustration. Well, clearly you have some frustration since you're sitting in the Nine of Swords energy. Um, shadow work and caution. I feel like, um, so we have frustration, right? Shadow work and caution. I think Leo got similar cards. Uh, 
I don't remember who it is now. I don't remember. Um, but I do feel like you've been frustrated. You've been worried. You've been anxious. I feel like you have been working on your shadow side. You have been working on things that you want to change, make better, do differently. And I feel like it's kind of made you feel quite cautious. Um, but, but I like to see this on the bottom of the deck. We have freedom. So I think you will get to this freedom. You will get to this freedom. And then we have husband. So I feel like it will result in a long-term commitment whether you'll be someone's husband or someone will be your husband but i feel like you were seeking your freedom from this overthinking from this um you know this persistent thought about missing out on an opportunity i think that you're going to get freedom from that as you kind of work through this frustration potential shadow work and your person might even be cautious too um showing up sorry that's my washer I'm showing up as this knight of pentacles, you know, slow and steady wins the race. They're not rushing towards you. They're taking their time. Uh, we have addiction. So addictions might be something um, that impact you. We also have look for the signs and we have illusions. Um... And then proposal, sorry, on the bottom of the deck, I was just kind of looking at these cards. Um, so maybe maybe you struggle with addictions. Maybe your person was struggling with addictions. Maybe you both had some addictions of some sort. Um, and you were trying to get your life on the right track. And maybe that's what's been part of the shadow work, part of this frustration. We have what's fantasy or reality. Illusions is this card. I think that's kind of you in your mind overthinking and worrying and processing and like this can't be true. This can't be true. This person's really not showing up as this queen of pentacles. Nobody ever takes care of me. Like, mm, I don't believe this, but it is reality. This person is really here for you. And then look for the signs. Um, and then again, we have proposal on the bottom of the deck. So I do, I feel like this is going to lead to a marriage or a proposal, long-term commitment. And let's get a heart songs for you. Songs from the Keys of Love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. What do Tauruses need to hear or see? Crazy for You by Madonna. And the lyric that's selected is, Touch me once and you'll know it's true. I never wanted anyone like this. It's all brand new. You'll feel it in my kiss. So um, that song might be specific to you or significant to you. Um, that might remind you of someone in particular. It might have been your favorite song back in the 80s if you're old enough to be alive back in the 80s and listening to Madonna. Um, that could be uh, a message that's coming towards you. That could be a message you've heard before. That could be a message you've said to somebody else. Um, but yeah, Taurus says, I feel like it's going to be a safe to love, but it's a slow and steady process. Take your time with it. Don't rush. Storm ahead and Divine Masculine just popped out. So, um, yeah. Oh, good luck, Taurus. I think it's good. I think it's safe. I think, you know, sometimes we just get in our own ways. And then, you know, addictions are <laughs> very tough. Uh, and if you watched a couple videos back, you'll all understand why. Not, not that addictions are tough. That I'm just like, hmm, I... Yeah, okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's coming towards Virgos in love? Virgo, Virgo, Virgos. Two of Wands. Four of Pentacles, King of Cups. King of Swords. Nine of Cups. Oh, Virgos, you might have an option in love, uh, potentially. I kind of feel like there could be two, two stories here. You could potentially have a choice between a king of cups and a king of swords so water or air sign doesn't have to be but um you could potentially be having a, a potential choice um or you could be having like the uh the love of your life coming <laughs> someone you've been wishing for someone you've been hoping for so take whichever one resonates um the two of wands can be a choice, can be like a, a path to pick, right? Can also be traveling. Um, so, you know, sometimes I feel like you have to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Because um, somebody could be watching this and be like, oh my gosh, yes, I'm going to be traveling with um, this person that I met and I love them to pieces and they're 
uh, very much like a they're the Aquarius or Gemini and they're very analytical like and this could fit a thousand percent or it could be someone who is contemplating a choice between two people so take what resonates with you or it could be someone contemplating a choice two people that's gonna be traveling so, so I don't know but I feel like um, I just have to kind of say all all of what's coming to me right now um, you usually I kind of get a story and like a translation of what the cards mean and I just go with that one but for whatever reason I'm just telling you both Anyways, I feel like there's a potential for travel here. Um, I feel like you could be contemplating a travel. This relationship could require some travel um, between you and this person. Uh, but it's, it's also very resonant or very much picking a choice, picking a path. So I think you're going to be picking a path regardless of if it's between two people or what you're going to be doing moving forward. We have this page of swords energy, sorry, on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you could potentially have someone who is watching you through social media, um, someone that's keeping their distance. Um, maybe that's someone you're trying to think about going towards, but I feel like this person is kind of collecting information, but not really talking directly to you. They're talking to people uh, you know, or watching you through social media platforms, gathering information from uh, afar. Um, they, they really want to know a lot about you. I feel like this person is genuinely showing interest. I don't think this is like weird, creepy stalker. Um, I do see you as kind of keeping your heart guarded as well. I feel like, um, I think you just kind of are cautious in nature and you want to keep yourself protected. So I think you're just kind of keeping your heart closed off a bit. I do feel like this person will absolutely be in love with you. They will be compassionate. They will be nurturing. They will be a caretaker, a provider. I feel like this person um, shows you love more than verbalizes. They don't really verbalize as well as they could. Um, they're very intelligent and they sometimes are a little bit cold and distant. Like, so I feel like, um, with this combination, it's kind of interesting because the King of Swords usually communicates well, but I feel like in this case, because it's King of Cups and King of Swords, it's probably not the best communicator. They probably do more actions than speaking, but I feel like um, they sometimes cut things off, can be really cold and detached. It's kind of the, like um, they get frustrated and kind of cut things out and, and cut off communication is really, I don't know why I'm picking that up. It's not in the reverse, but that's why that's what I'm feeling. Take it as it resonates. Um, so I feel like your person will be able to um, show you how they feel about you, but I feel like they will struggle a bit more with the communication and get frustrated when communicating if they're not feeling heard. Um, very intelligent, very intellectual. I think you guys will be able to have great communication, but this person's showing up as your wish fulfillment. So um, if you're picking between two people, one of them is your wish fulfillment, you will know who they are. And if you're not, if this is one person, this person is your wish fulfillment, even if there are some, you know, not so great qualities. I mean, we're all guilty of that, right? None, none of us are perfect. But I feel like this person's coming towards you. They may be traveling towards you. They may be mustering up the courage to make a move forward instead of you. But this is definitely going to be your wish fulfillment, Virgos. Let's see, some Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Virgo. Cleanse. Wedding. Mm -hmm. Walking away and make the effort. Yeah. So again, I don't know if someone's going to be walking away from a specific person. Maybe you're picking one person over the other. Maybe you're walking away from a situation and moving toward, or maybe the other person's walking away from a situation and moving towards you. But we also have cleanse and we have wedding. So I feel like, um, I feel like this will be um, a movement towards a commitment, right? And then we have to make the effort on the bottom of the deck. So that's probably reminding you um, to make sure you make the effort because you don't want to stay kind of held up in your own insecurities or thoughts. I feel like those cards wanted to come up, but they didn't. Love is coming. Ooh. New life and children. So you could potentially um, become pregnant or um, this doesn't mean necessarily you're going to have a baby if you don't want to have babies. Um, this could be just a new start, new life, a new um, uh, route, <laughs> a new route, a new situation, a new path. 
Um, and then we have children. So I feel like children could be involved in this situation. So your person could have children. You could have children prior to coming into this relationship. Or you will have children with this person. And the bottom of the deck was on the fence. No, no decision has been made yet. Right? Similar cards. And then underneath it we have happy family. So I feel like um, if you don't already have kids, um, you could have kids. Or you will have a family with this person as well. As well as the marriage. All right, let's get some heart songs. Songs and keys of love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Um, I'm going to put these back in the deck because two came out and I only want one. But I'll tell you what the songs are. It's I Will Always Love You from Dolly Parton and yours from Shy. Um, but I want to put them back in the deck because I only want one card. So let's see what comes out. What do Virgos need to see? Uh, Unchained Melodies from the Righteous Brothers and the Selected Lyric. If you don't know the song, it's from, it's like, was made really big from Ghost, but, um, in the 90s. But it's, oh, my darling. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not. It's, oh, my love, my darling. I've hungered for your touch a long, lonely time. Time goes by so slowly and time can do so much. Are you still mine? I need your love. I need your love. God speed your love to me. So that might be significant for you guys. And that's your read, Virgos. Good luck to you. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like you could potentially have a choice, but I feel like it's a person coming towards you. Maybe, mm, yeah, I'm going to leave it. I, I think, take, take it how it resonates. Let me know what you think. All right, all right, all right. Moving on to Capricorns. My nose is itching. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my lord. And my neck is like turning to static or something. All right, Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. What's coming towards Capricorns in love? What is coming towards Capricorns in love? All right. All right, Capricorn. So I feel like, um, I feel like you've been self, self, I can't talk. I feel like you've been self-sabotaging a bit. I feel like you've been really up in your head. This is kind of a, a continuous theme. I mean, I had the nine of swords and the five of swords, so a little bit different, but I feel like there's a lot of thinking very negative thoughts that are not real. Like if you look at this picture, she's looking at herself in a mirror and you can see clearly she's not bound. She's not blindfolded. There are no crows around her but in her reflection this is what she's seeing so it's like I feel like you're really stuck in this negative self-doubt this negative talk this is like a self-sabotaging energy so I feel like you're sitting in that energy thankfully we have a ten of wands here um which I feel like is putting down those burdens I think you will be putting down those burdens um we also have a ten of cups so ten ten might be significant for you and we also have two eights so eight one and zero eight and 10. Uh, take it how it resonates to you. But um, I feel like you're going to be putting down this energy of this negative overthinking, this negative self-defeat. You have someone coming towards you who is a very good communicator, very strong communicator with the Knight of Swords, King of Swords, not Knight of Swords, my apologies. This person is very intelligent. This person will speak to how they feel. This person will sometimes be a little bit cold and, and detached and like uh, shut stuff down quickly. So they might get frustrated and shut stuff down in terms of communication. Um, but I feel like this person is very intelligent. I think you guys will have a lot of great conversations. They'll be very smart. They'll be able to communicate with you. They'll be able to tell you what they're thinking. They'll be able to tell you how they're feeling. This person is showing up as this eight of pentacles energy to me, which is a soulmate energy. This person is showing up as someone who knows and understands that it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to make a love situation work and last. They will put this in. They will be willing to put in the work. They recognize it and they think of you as a soulmate. This person has true love for you, potential marriage. Then we also have this Ten of Cups, which is the happily ever after card, right? This is um, tons of love, true love, romance, marriage, 
Um, this is a husband, wife, a kid, a white picket fence, right? Um, this is like getting all your wishes fulfilled. All your dreams are coming true in terms of love. This person loves you. This person is stable. This person is committed. This person will communicate. This is a great read, Capricorn. And this person also has a lot of passion for you with the Knight of Wands. This is kind of um, a very flirty, passionate card. I feel like you guys will have lots of fun, lots of love, and it will be very stable. I feel like this is a, a healthy relationship. I feel like it's quite balanced. We got all the elements, um, but you just have to kind of get out of your head and put those burdens down that you put upon yourself. That's the card I was trying to find this whole time. I'm sorry, that's my dryer telling me it's done, but I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> it's too late for the ice cream truck. All right, let's get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Capricorns. What do Capricorns need to see? Guarded, yep, I feel like that's your energy, Capricorn. Summer, which the summer is almost over. That spring card just flipped too, so spring and summer might be significant. Um, and twin freaking flame, all right. And quality time on the bottom of the deck. This twin flame card doesn't surprise me. I feel like this could be, this like came out on the soulmate card too, right? So soulmate, twin flame, energy, summer, and guarded, which I feel like you're just going to, Probably continue to be quite guarded until you feel, you can put those burdens down and open up. But I feel like this person being the great communicator that they're going to be is going to help you to kind of um, feel more comfortable doing so. You're going to see they're committed. You're going to see that they love you. You're going to see that they um, are willing to put work in and time in. We have stand by me. We have hurtful words and we have true love. Um, mutual loyalty, true love, and then the bottom of the deck, love is coming and happy ever after again. So I feel like that's repeating itself, right? Um, I do feel like, um, I feel like your king of swords can have some hurt words. Some things might come across kind of harsh. They might seem a little cold and detached. Um, but I feel like you will recognize that this person has loyalty to you. They feel, they feel like, um, there's a mutual love here. There's a mutual affection. You might have to tell your king of swords, like, watch your tone. Watch what you say to me. Watch how you say to me because it's really hurtful. I think they will understand that and, and temper their tongue a little bit. Um, and then we have stand by me. Love is coming. All right, Capricorns, let's get a heart songs for you. Songs in the Keys of Love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. This actually has a song lyric on it um, from a song clearly like a song lyric from a song but a selected piece of the lyric of a song um so let's see what message pops out for you this could be a song that was like pertinent to your life or um it could be just like you really like it or this oh i i need to look this up because i don't know how to say this but i'm not looking it up i'm going to spell it for you um it's called uh okay the song is called saw Dade. I don't know how you say this song, S-A-U-D-A-D-E, and it's from Us the Duo. I was looking at the card to see which one was the song and which one was the, the, the performer. Um, and the lyric says, memories are the only thing I have left. Wish I could have told you everything before you left. I haven't eaten. I haven't slept. I haven't smiled. I've only wept. I'm replaying every single word you said. Am I dreaming or are you really gone? So take that how it resonates or leave it if it doesn't. Um, I really do have to figure out what that word is. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much, guys. And until next time, take care.